Defining Schema Schemas are definitions of the database data structure. In order to use SQL in a database system, it is necessary to first define the schema. A schema example described by using SQL DDL is shown. One database administrator. The schema administrator is described in the first row A in the illustration. In other words, the administrator is myth. Two table definitions. Descriptions B and C in the illustrations are table definitions. This is the conceptual schema in the three level schema, which you studied about in section 4. In other words, it is the definition of the data structure that will be actually used. Because of this, it is called the base table. Three. View definition Descriptions D in the illustration is the view definition. It corresponds to the external schema in the three layer schema. It is used to define the table which the user needs. It is called the grades table. The user using the grades table can join two base tables based on the exam number and the ID number using the from test examinee's ledger, grades ledger and, where exam number equals ID number description. When this happens, the item names are changed. The new exam number is changed to number. The name is changed to the name 1. The total grades are changed to evaluation. 4. Privilege definition. Illustration E describes the users and the privileges each user has. The meanings of the privileges are as follows. All privileges, all data manipulations, Insert, add to row, addition of data. Update, update column, modification of column. Delete, delete row, deletion of data. Select, reference the table. In other words, the user named Jones can do all operations on the test examinee's ledger. The user named Adams cannot delete data in the grades ledger. However, he can reference, select, add or update items. The user named Clark can only reference data.